So why did you come down today for this protest? Um, I came today because I feel very angry and upset about what's happening to the people in Syria, uh, especially the children. Uh, I met Pete over here at another uh, vigil in October uh, when uh, things were pretty bad, but they've escalated and become much worse. Um, I'm very involved with a cat shelter outside of Aleppo. Uh, this is something that it Americans and Europeans and anyone can participate in online uh, and the gentleman who runs it uh, was in Aleppo and when Aleppo fell he managed to get out. He went to Turkey uh, but he came back to serve the people in the area outside Aleppo and to serve the animals and I was so incredibly impressed by that. Uh, this idea of bu building a life while things are falling down around you really inspired me. Um, and so I became more and more involved in getting further information on the humanitarian crisis in Syria. Uh, and I feel like it's so important for us to speak out. I don't think our leaders are speaking out. I feel like America could do a lot more. And uh, Pete and I were just talking about this. The person who's in the White House right now is really difficult to work with, but I don't know that it was any better necessarily uh, with Obama. Um, so it's up to the citizens and citizen journalists to, to do this. Um, it's happening all over the country with a variety of issues, um, but we can't forget people in other places who really need our help. You know, we have a lot of wealth here. You know, I, I'm a teacher, I, go, I get to go to work, I get to come home, I get to not have my house bombed, and I don't take that for granted, and I don't think anyone should have to live that way.